Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking some thrifted items and we're gonna give them a new life. I think y'all gonna enjoy today's video. So let's go ahead and get started on the projects. I actually purchased these two pieces separately at the thrift store, but I think they will go really good together. This basket is adorable and it's already filled with foam. And this is a topiary and I think it has some really pretty natural looking greenery. So I'm going to see if I can put these two pieces together. So it already has two holes in it, but they're not in the right spot. And then there's this hard kind of faux dirt layer on top. So I'm going to use my drill with the dr biggest drill bit that I have and see if I can put a hole in this fake dirt. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. I'm going to have to put another hole because this looks pretty thick. So I need to make sure I have enough, a big enough hole for it. This fake dirt layer is no joke. So I ended up having to get a smaller drill bit and I put little tiny holes, a little tiny circle holes around my bigger hole. And now I'm kind of chiseling it out to be able to get um, the size hole that I need for this piece to fit in there. So a little more complicated than I thought, but I'm making it work. I feel like this is going to be a big enough hole for us. For some reason, the bottom of this topiary has all these little fake pieces right here, like these little fake sticks. I don't know. I don't like the way that it looks, so I'm just going to take my little scissors or cutting things, whatever. Whatever these are called, I'm going to take them and I'm just going to simply just snip them off. So now I'm just going to take my topiary and I'm going to put it right in the center of the basket. And then I'm going to take some hot glue since my hole is a little bit bigger. So that way I could fit it in there. I'm just going to fill the edges with hot glue and that should keep this in place. Okay, our topiary is looking pretty good. It's kind of hard to get the whole thing on camera, but we're going to add a few things that are just going to make it look much more expensive. This is some spray adhesive and this is just some Spanish moss that I got again at the thrift store. And I'm just going to spray the bottom, the fake dirt with some Spanish moss. Now the fake dirt does look good, but there's some holes in it. So to cover all that, I just decided we'll put some Spanish moss. Also, I like the look of the Spanish moss. So y'all definitely be on the lookout for items that you like at the thrift store, because I, like I said, I got these at two separate times, but I just really liked both of them. And when looking through my stash, I realized they would look perfectly together. Okay, that was a really quick and simple fix. It hides all the imperfections and it just adds another layer to it. Now I'm gonna bring the camera up a little bit and I wanna add something to this topiary that is gonna make it look a little more expensive. This is a pick I have on the website. It's called Baby's Twilight. And as you can see, I've been using it. I love this one. So you can use it as is, or you can cut it apart and use it for different projects. And that's what I've been doing. So I'm just going to snip it right here where I have these three little pieces. I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place. And I'm just going to stick it throughout this topiary. And I think just that little bit of extra added greenery and you know, it'll kind of fill this thing up and just make it look all that more expensive. So I'm going to keep snipping these and adding them in. And then this project will be complete. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Did I take these two pieces and marry them together and make something beautiful? I recently thrifted all of these pieces at the same thrift store and y'all know I love a good hanging basket. So as I was shopping, I was just throwing stuff in this little metal hanging basket. And I love the way that it looks, these paper flowers, this little wood rolling pin, but I don't feel like the hanging basket goes with this look. So that's we're gonna, what we're going to change today. I think that fusion paint in the color Champlain is going to be really pretty on here. I'm using my pointed sash paintbrush. I know it's my favorite. It's super easy to use if you have a smooth surface like this. And then also if you have details, the pointed ends, 
make it super easy to get those. So if you're unfamiliar with Fusion all-in-one paint, it's pretty much no prep, no sealer. It has a built-in sealer with it. So it's a one and done product and I absolutely love that. So once I get two coats on here, it will be ready for the next step. I am loving the way this champagne color looks with this kind of rust color. Now we need to add something to the front. I want to use IOD's new seed catalog transfer. It's filled with all these different types of ephemera. We have lots of fruits and flowers and seed packets and just all kind of cute stuff. If you haven't checked out this transfer, I think you will love it. I think I'm going to use this image. I think it will look good. This is actually a smaller one of May's Roses, which is a bigger IOD transfer. And I really like these strawberries. I think I have something I can put on that. So we might do that project next. I'm going to pull the white backer off of the transfer and then I'm going to put it exactly where I want it on the metal bucket. Y'all, I am loving how this color looks with the rust. I would like to say that I planned it out that way. I did not, but it definitely looks really great together. I feel like this transfer was a perfect choice. So all of your transfers come with a transfer tool and look how easy it's coming off. You just rub it over and the Fusion all-in-one paint really works so nice nicely with the IOD transfers because it has that built-in sealer. So the transfers just come off so easily when I use my fusion paint. So if you've been having trouble with transfers, you might want to try some fusion paint and you will be amazed how easily your transfers come off. And of course, all of the products that I use in today's video, you can find on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. I love the way that this piece came out. These were the pieces that I was thinking about in my stash that would be perfect for the strawberry transfer, but I think I want to paint it. And since I already have the champlain out, I'm just going to use that and I'm going to paint the bottoms of these. So I want to keep that natural wood strip at the top and I'm just going to paint the bottom part with one quick coat of fusion paint. Sometimes I have my YouTube videos planned out and some videos are just like this where I just take items out of my stash and just get inspired as I'm working on different projects. I didn't even plan this one, but when I saw the strawberry transfers, I knew I had a piece that I could put them on. So if you also have a large thrifted stash, just grab something and start working on it. Once you start working on it, I guarantee you the ideas will start coming. Since I have two baskets, I want to go ahead and cut this piece in half. That way I can use this one transfer on both of them. I'm just going to tug the top right under the lip right here like that. I'm going to take my transfer tool. I'm going to have to kind of put my hand on the back since this is, you know, like a little bit flimsy. It needs kind of a um, stiffer surface to be able to transfer. So I'm just going to use my hand. Look how pretty that is looking. These came out so cute. And even though this basket was pretty rough, I had no problem getting the transfer to stick. Now, since this is more of a rustic surface, I do want to sand my transfers and that will give the transfers more of a rustic feel, just like these little berry baskets. I recently thrifted this piece and I know it might look a little weird now. It's a plate and half of a coffee cup, but I see so much potential in this piece. This is a very slick surface. So what I want to do is I want to add some fusion paint, but also some Dixie Belle sea spray. And this will really help it adhere to the slick surface and also give it some texture. I have fusion paint in the color cobblestone. It's a light gray color and I'm going to take some Dixie Belle Sea Spray, and I'm just going to add some of that in. Probably don't need a whole scoop. And then I'm going to mix it up really well. So now we have a nice textured mixture, 
and I'm going to take that and I'm going to paint it on the entire piece. It's probably going to take two coats of paint. So I think the first coat I'm just going to get on here. And then for the second coat, you could really add more texture on there. I think I'm just going to brush it on. But if you wanted to even add more texture, you could stipple it like this. But this is a lot of texture and I feel like the brush strokes is doing a great job of giving me the look that I want. So I don't need that extra added detail of all the stippling. It's all dry and look at this beautiful texture. I was very intentional with my brush strokes. So I have it going around the plate and then I have it going up and down the cup. You could leave it like this, but I really want to add some more dimension to this and really have the texture stand out. So I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's Gray Grunge Wax. I'm a little bit obsessed with this right now. I just love the way everything comes out that I put this wax on. So I'm using the Dixie Bell. It is the French tip paintbrush. It is my favorite for waxes. It has a pointed tip, just like the Stallmaster uh, pointed sashes. So it's great to get into all the little details. And then when you have a smooth flat surface, it gets that really good as well. So I'm just gonna put the gray grunge on my entire piece. And then I'm going to take a dry paper towel and I'm just going to wipe the excess off. Now I want to add another layer. I mix up some milk paint in the color London Fog and I'm just going to put one coat on here. Now, ideally, you would let your wax dry, but I don't have time for that in this video. So I'm just going to lather it on here. Now I'm going to take a heat gun and I'm just going to dry this milk paint really quick. Now we have even more texture with that milk paint. I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm just going to lightly go over the entire piece and bring back those two shades of gray. So the first gray that we put on there, the fusion cobblestone, and then we added even more gray with the Dixie Belle gray grunge. So you can see as I'm just kind of lightly going over it with the baby wipe, it's bringing back some of that texture, some of those grays, and just adding lots of dimension. I still have a little bit of the grunge gray wax on my brush. So now I'm just going to hit the edges and just kind of dry brush the edges and make them a little bit darker. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just layer and you keep adding or you can take away if you feel like you did too much, but you just keep playing with it until you get the look that you want. But I love all the beautiful texture that we created in this piece. It definitely looks a lot different than what I started with. All right, guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Please leave a comment below and let me know what was your favorite project. And if you love these sorts of videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button and leave me a thumbs up. Guys, all of these things really, really help support my channel. So I definitely appreciate it. All right, we are in my shipping room with my IOD and my Dixie Bell and I have Fusion over here, you can't see it, but we're in here because I have some new stuff to show y'all. I'm just going to show y'all a few things that I got in. I got in a huge order, three palettes of stuff, but I did show it over on Facebook in detail. So if you want to watch that full video, I will leave that link in the description for y'all. But I got some more wholesale and it is floral because I love decorating and staging with floral so I got some really beautiful pieces that I think would really tie into the thrifted finds and the projects that we are already doing over here Ugh, these are beautiful I got lots of fall colors I love these half spheres so if you don't know what a half sphere is they are so easy for decorating it looks like this in the back. So it looks great sitting by itself. You could put it up like this and you just put it on something. It's as easy as that. It's so simple to decorate with these things. I also got a bunch of these little chippy white metal pieces for you to put all your beautiful florals in. 
look at these. I even got some candle rings for y'all. So this can be a candle ring. You know, I don't have a candle, but you can imagine what a candle will look like. Or you can, um, see, look how beautiful that looks. Or you can use it as a wreath. It works either way. And I just tried to get things that had just a vintage vibe to it. Y'all, these are called late bloomers and they are my favorite. Oh my gosh. So I got it in a half sphere. This is the cream. This is the yellow. But wait, I already took a bunch of these out of inventory because I have them all over my house because I'm obsessed, y'all. Oh my goodness. I love these. So it has a long stem so you can put it in like a little hanging basket or a pot or something but it doesn't stand up straight it just kind of oh my gosh it just falls over it is beautiful i know it's not springtime but i couldn't help but get this droopy lavender look how cute this is i said i wasn't going to show y'all everything but here i am showing everything not exactly everything so y'all definitely go look online look how oh my gosh i'm obsessed obsessed with these like I said I tried to get things that really had a vintage vibe I have some bird's nest these are so good I feel like I looked at a lot of bird's nests and these looked very natural I have lots of um what this is called New England boxwood um, because I feel like this is just such a timeless classic look and goes with any decor style. And if you wanted to add some berries in there for Christmas, you could. So I have the small candle ring, the little bit bigger candle ring, and then also the half sphere. Okay, I'm just going to show y'all a few Christmas greenery pieces that I have and that will be it. But like I said, if you really want to get very detailed and look at these, I have the Facebook video and of course, everything you can find on the website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. Now this one, it wasn't specifically Christmas, but I feel like oh, I already showed y'all this one, but this is so like beautiful, natural Christmas looking. I love cedar. Look at this piece just the greenery and the pine cones oh it is adorable we got to put it on the candlestick see what it looks like so this is another half sphere they're so easy and then this is actually a centerpiece so you have the hole in the middle where you could put something a candlestick a deer oh that would be cute um but then you have these longer sides and they just kind of drape so they look they look amazing on a riser, but of course you could put it, you know, on a shelf or a table or something. So this is the cedar centerpiece. I want to say it's called creeping cedar. And then I also have the creeping cedar wreath. And again, this could be a wreath or it could be a candle ring. And they have like little tiny little pine cones on it. Super cute. And then I love juniper. So we have the cedar with the juniper and this one all of these kind of twigs um are bendable so you could bring it out more you could bring it in um you could really play around with this one i really like kind of how spriggy this one is very very cute so super excited wait i didn't even show y'all my favorite one hold on this one's called baby's twilight it's back there so i'm looking at the name of it it's so vintage looking and I got this one in the half sphere, but also in little sprigs. So I've been using this one so it, it seems kind of um, sparse because I've been tearing it off and using it. It looks amazing. So if you're doing a stack of books or you just need a little greenery to add to something, these are beautiful. I love these. So these are called Baby's Twilights and I have them in the high sphere in the pick and i also got it in a garland look how pretty i just thought this one was so vintage looking and it's the kind of stuff that i love to use when i'm staging so i had to get it in all three different kinds so y'all definitely let me know what y'all like about the greenery what y'all would like to see more of are y'all excited about it i want to know all y'all opinions so <laughs> that went way longer than i thought i was like oh i'm just gonna tell them and send them over to facebook and then i ended up showing y'all 
pretty much everything that I had and why I loved it. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I will see y'all next week for another DIY. Bye guys.